Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today I'm going to be continuing off on our last episode of where we last left off, which is part four of our twin saga. And last we left off, we just defeated, like, the little golden wolf, I guess? Somewhere along there we finished off. So we're going to continue on on leveling. As you can see, I'm a higher level because I went outside and did those, like, story quests. Because... That took me like exactly 30 minutes to find all of them that was in that area that I could go to. And I didn't want a whole video of just searching for those. Especially when you have a lot of borders to keep you from jumping over sides and everything. Which should not be there because it just messes with traveling and certain people really just give up on exploring if there's just a whole bunch of borders everywhere. But I'm pretty sure I got all of them in this area. Now I'm going to be getting through these guys very quickly since I am a higher level now. And I basically out level them. So I do recommend you guys do the whole little story quest things that are outside. Because each, each one of them is... I can say closely guaranteed to level you up at least once. Like me, I did like, I don't know, seven of them I believe? Or probably like six, I'm not sure, but I did get to level 19 from like 15 or 14. Just by doing all of them. Which is actually pretty fast. And the stories are actually pretty funny and interesting, so you guys should actually really check them out. Alright, we're gonna summon this pure golem. If you guys are wondering why this is going up a little bit later, it's because um, Twin Saga was going through uh, update, well, maintenance, so I couldn't get on. By the way, the doll. If you guys don't know, I do my recordings right then and there, not like a day early. I might record for like four hours and have like four episodes and upload these two. We're gonna go talk to her. Now, I really want that other costume I picked, I picked last time. What are you waiting for? Choose your reward already. Or I could go this one. This is the one I picked last time. Hmm. I'll pick this one this time. Why not? What do females look like? Females aren't half bad. Alright. Now we're gonna put in some water into this little water bottle from this waterfall. A lot of water related things over here. Okay, I'll stop. I, I really should. Hopefully I can reach level 35 really soon so I can be able to do like some guides on the classes I have unlocked right now. As you guys know that you have to like do certain quests just to unlock the rest of the classes. Why are you attacking me you jerk? Alright now we're gonna kill some of these mucklings. Alright, we need one more. Just moseying on through.
All right. Close to leveling up our class again. So, build I have right now is, oops, wrong one. That is what I'm rocking right now. I'm gonna try to put in points into here and choose either that one or that one. I'm trying to get all my attack abilities first. Alright. Now I'm pretty sure there was a cutscene here at, after we get all these. Alright. Yep. Now, for some of you guys who don't really are following the story, she's an ancient elf that's basically died. We're just pretty much talking to a spirit right now. この I believe this is where we earn cleric. Last I checked. This is pretty much showing her past and what happened. It's okay, get over to that little pimp slap. It was like the most OP pimp slap ever. She died so quick. As you guys can see, Twin Saga has kind of a dark history in it too. There's a little bit of dark side. I like how I just heard a level up in the background. <laughs> Yep, there's Cleric. Alright, and that's the end of it.
I'll clip that. Now Cleric is right here. We could just pretty much swap to it when we need to. But I think I'm gonna carry on with Story Master a little bit more. Now we can move on. Behind a waterfall? Oh, no, it was just... Searching, basically. Alright, you stole my sheep again. I I would really love my sheep back, buddy. I guess I'm not getting it back. Rip sheep. Yeah, her sucky teleporting. All right, we continue on getting our equipment. It sucks because in like close beta, I had yellow gear, which pretty much gave me like a thousand HP back, like every five seconds I believe it was sort of like a regen thing all right getting a lot of equipment here uh, do they have any strings to them doesn't seem like it so they're not like a set Back off me. I think she tried to run, but I stopped her. Uh, points, points. There we Alright, now we're gonna be doing stuff with the bandit camp. Like set them. Like doing a lot of things with this guy inside of the bandit camp. Disguises and all that. And there's our last gear. Hold on, let me quit my boots. Alright. Now we're gonna put on this costume. Now we're gonna put it in this little toy beetle. I guess they all collect beetles. <laughs> One of them collects a red. One of them has a red. Oh yeah, I remember this. Technically, she did find it first. Alright, 
All right. <laughs> he was quite angry that they call him fat. I mean, you do live, look a little bit chubby, my friend. And you're still carrying nothing after those beta. Carrying something invisible. Alright, we got everything we need. Now we get to destroy these guys. Uh, I, guess, I guess we got all of those. Now let's get one of these uh, achievements. That's what you get, my friend. We all have to go through it someday. Being robbed by bandits. Alright, need one more sigil. Where is he? There's one. Hey guys, you guys want to chase me too? Go ahead. Just need one signal. But you guys can die along with him if you want. Alright, back to him. I got your band is down, buddy. Now, we gotta go take down the elite. Hey guys, don't mind me. And they're done. Wait, how are you still alive? What are you waiting for? Choose uh, which one? Already. I think I already have this one, but no, oh, no, I don't. This one's different. He has to do AoE damage equal to 40% of your attack stats to enemies within 5 meters. Mm, nah. I'll keep the DPS one. But, you know, I would take this just in case. Now I need to go get these jewelry box. Well, sacks.
Didn't get one from them. You guys got any? Alright. You had a one. What about you guys? Come on, I just need one more. You didn't have one. Alright, you had the last one. Now we can move back on to our old friend here. We're going to pick up these dropped crates. Wait, I don't see another one. Oh, okay. There they are. Come here. Alright, Northeast it is. Come here, wood bird. Are you the one who stole my sheep? You guys are the one who stole my sheep. Uh, wow, not many spawn over here unless they're on top of the like ledge. I, I learned that leaping gets a stun. Then I guess Blaze Storm is like really effective. Cause leaping at the stun is like so good. And gives you enough time to get your um Blaze Storm off. Might try that in PvP, see how effective it is. Because the stun lasts for quite a while. But I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to PvP. I'm pretty sure I can PvP now, but it doesn't seem like anything's up. But if I could PvP, I probably would do it like later on when I get uh, Rogue, because Rogue is like my main class I love in this game. That and... I guess people are talking about like a monk class coming because I love brawler classes. So I would definitely play with that. I'm getting close to where I last stopped though. It should be like the next town where Archer is. And Archer is quite a way. For those of you who don't know and have not gotten to Archer yet, Archer actually has the. Um, the pet from Eden Eternal, the bird. You actually get it pretty early too. I'm not sure if it gets, um, can I even take a look at it? No? Okay, yes I can. Yeah, you can summon the little bird, but you can't summon like the panther that was with it. You can only summon the bird, which really sucks. Because the panther was a thing. Oh, was it a panther or like a just random beast? It was just like some kind of beast that you could like summon with it. But you can only, but like I was saying, you can only summon a bird now. But it's always good to have like an extra companion fighting for you. So that means you have like three people, like constantly dealing damage. We just got Burning Wall. Pretty sure that's a common skill. Yep, common skill. 
Well, not a common skill. Yeah, it's actually a party skill. Or a party buff. Alright, let's put in our points here. Now we have to go over there to that place. I just wanted to destroy that frog. Alright, we checked out the toxic. Now I'm pretty sure she's gonna have us destroying frogs. Yep, come here, toads. I'm sorry. She just doesn't like you. I know you guys did nothing wrong, but technically in her eyes you did. This buff only lasts for like 15 seconds. Wow. Alright, back we go. You would think a buff would last a lot longer, but it doesn't. Gathering more plants. Alright, we got that. Uh, where do we go, Eric? Um, air purifier. I guess we're getting rid of the toxic clouds. Yep. I don't know if that, like, supposedly killed the frogs, because... I don't know if the frogs, like, live off the, the toxic... Oh, we put one in this area, too. I mean, you're technically destroying your habitat is what I would think, but... No? Alright. So, guys, we're gonna call it an episode here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And oh yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that new intro that I just put up because it took me a while to make and you no, know, I'm getting proud of my editing skills. I put that on uh, Facebook also so you guys can check that out by itself. And I actually think it fits now, <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time on the next episode. Peace out.